What, what about how can you address the people who are saying you're already smashing her? I'm smashing. Come in. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, Karibu Nitana to Glow Up in Makena. I'm your girl Makena, and today we are at Bavaria Gardens, you guys. It's located in Westland and Tuluambia. If you have a location in mind that you like us to come and shoot from, Tuambia ni too. We have affordable prices, just call us. Hala at me at your girl, uh, pale Instagram, Cash Gracie. Just DM me, and I will definitely see your DM. So, guys, today I have a full package. This guy is a hundred in one, if that makes sense. He's an MC, he's an actor. One thing that most people don't know is that he's a singer. He's such a sweetheart. He's an amazing, amazing soul. Aww. He is Aww. your favorite. Aww. Your you said I'm a sweetheart. Right? You said I'm a sweetheart. You're such a sweetheart. I've been called so many names, a sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> now you're blushing. <laughs> Tissues, please. <laughs> <laughs> Oga Ovina. How are you? I'm easy. How are you, my dear? Beautiful. Thank you for pulling up. Yes. Thank you for inviting me. Uh -huh. Thank you for everyone thinking of inviting me. You're a big deal, Jesus. What are you talking about? Ah, me. It's big a privilege. Deal. I'm Obina. Are you sure you? I'm the one. <laughs> <laughs> it's you. I'm talking about. Are you about. confusing me? No, it's you. It's me. Imagine it's only you with me. Well, with me I am a big deal. Hey. Hey, this is a big deal. Hey. Hey, I am a big. <laughs> hey, my darling, how are you doing? Good. How's your day tagging along? You can see I'm on water, man. Mm -hmm. I'm on autopilot. Today oh. is busy, 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 busy. Uh -huh. And I have those fifty meetings that I never like to go to, oh, but yeah. I have to. Because I'm abrupt ones. Yes. And then it's a Monday. Come now, now. And then when it's money, now you have to pull up. Now you have to change things. You mm -hmm. have to jump on a motorbike. Mm -hmm. nini. Like now I had to leave you here, run with a motorbike, come back with a motorbike because now you're in the car, you'll sit in traffic until tomorrow. Yeah. But that's a big sacrifice. So, Thank you, my dear. No problemo. Ah, yeah. Sawa, sawa. So, to answer kidogo to Majina Kitambulisho, let us know what this Nigerian. Ah, those Whether you're Nigerian ones, or Kenyan. Those ones nobody will ever know. Uh -uh. See, these are exclusive for Ah, me. I know, but my name's names. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Those ones, Give nobody us your first knows. Name, then. It will never happen. Ah. It will never, I've never, oh, I've busy. never, it's Obina. Let's stick with Obina. Mm -hmm. You all have business knowing Obina. Obina you know, is I'm going to send Ibo. them first at 10 bob. No problem. That's, we will register with all the numbers. <laughs> you can, it will bring Wanjiko. Wanjiko. Say Esther Wanjiko, like what? All the <laughs> yeah, so, uh, people, I want my fans to know obina mm -hmm. fall in love hate like mm -hmm. obina mm -hmm. obina is half Igbo, half luo mm -hmm. so that's the one i want you to fall in love with all right so. yes because the minute they get on this other side now it's a different ball ball game altogether are so let's differentiate the two are you always this assertive by the way Utaki. okay social <laughs> media you want to burn but obviously are you always always this assertive like whatever yeah. you want you want yeah that's the way it happens mm -hmm. yeah he came and i was like watermelon and watermelon we get <laughs> <laughs> yes sir yeah. uh -huh, uh -huh. are you this assertive though seriously i've never known i'm assertive you're the first one to tell me you are actually because i've tried like you this way for some things and it's not uh, working for mm -hmm. me you're not saying yes. Nobody hard. says no to me. Do you know? Mm -hmm. All my friends. Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Is it gone? Where is my clothes? It's gone. It's, it's gone. not there. <laughs> Why can I see this? Oh, it's here. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh -huh. So all my friends do very weird things. Mm -hmm. And they've always tried to initiate me into the mix. <laughs> and they've never been able. Because I'm always the guy for... No. And you're assertive. That I assertive. don't bow to peer pressure. Mm -hmm. I oh, you know, guys, let's do... Mm -hmm. If I'm not feeling it, I'm not feeling it. And speaking of that, do you know you don't, guys? Do you know he doesn't drink? I know. Thank you. I drink water. Like you don't okay. drink alcohol. Say, uh, yeah, specify. You don't do any drugs. I've, I've, I've drunk alcohol a couple of times. I would tell us the incidences. I think there are two or three. Uh huh. Of course, it was the quaker beside you. So the, the proper proper alcohol I've drunk twice. Uh huh. The hangover one <laughs> because of heartbreak. <laughs> Because what of happens? you women, character development. Nairobi, I'm a Nigeria. <laughs> Nairobi, ah, Nigerian women are easy. Nairobi. Uh -huh. Where? Only for you, Anini. Give us a cash story, kidogo. See, I realize my mama was another guy's mama. You are sharing a mama. It's my person sharing. Mm -hmm. It was a pyramid scheme. What? It was my mama, then me, and the other jama. <laughs> 
and he's number one, you're number two. No, I was number one. Then mm -hmm. I traveled to Mombasa one weekend to do an Oka event. Mm -hmm. I came back, my mama was already in Kulwad. She came and confessed and told me, oh, you know, this and this and that. Mm -hmm. It was painful. You couldn't have forgiven, she has confessed it herself. I forgave her. You haven't found out, like... I forgave her. But... Anytime I would kiss her, I would taste the other guy on her lips. Anytime I hug her, I would smell the other guy. Because the other guy was my friend, and I knew how he smells. I used to be around him a lot, mm. so I would feel his... Aura. Yeah, he's just around. So anytime I was with this girl, like, <laughs> <laughs> For real? Yeah, so Owago told me. Uh -huh. Actually, Owago is the one who derailed me. Uh -huh. I think we were at Roast House or something. Yeah. Was it Rost House maybe? Owago was like, yo, mm -hmm. we have to. Owago was there giving me moral support and everything. Mm -hmm. And I drank everything that was available. For real? I did everything. How is the feeling next morning? Because you're not, you, you, like you don't drink totally. Felt like dying. Hangover, man. Hangover. Trust me, if you're a young person, you don't want to have any business with alcohol. Never. Leave it. I feel like sitting, I feel like sleeping, I feel like puking, I feel like headache, I feel like heat, you feel cold, you feel... It was... You're feeling sick. Just feel your body. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Way. And then the second one. Never ever. <laughs> Same again. Character <laughs> development. Again. So I was in love with this girl and I never knew I was in love. I thought me and her were just friends. Think, yeah. And uh, she told me, yo, you have to specify. Mm. And I was like, specify what? There ain't nothing happening. <laughs> me and you, we're boys. And then she was like, oh, okay, so do you mind if I get a man? I'm like, no, by all means. Bye, Felicia. Ouch. She got a man. That then one day you. now I call, I'm like, yo, so we're linking up, like, stop calling me up with my boyfriend. I'm like, what do you mean? Which boyfriend? I'm like, but I told you I'm getting a boyfriend. Now it hit me. It dawned mm. on me. I'm like, wait a minute. Oh, shoot. What did you do? You lost a chance. Where? Do you regret now it? Now when she was, yeah, when she wasn't there, is now when I realized what she meant to me. Yeah. Then I decided to go after her. Then she was like, no, it ain't happening. I came back. That was my first time testing Hennessy. <laughs> ah, you did the expensive no, one I, this I, time, I eh? wanted to get high with, you know, with class. Uh -huh. I drank that one. I mm -hmm. tried something sweet. I did Baileys. I did mm -hmm. Amarula. I did what? And all of these were bottles. You mixed up in one night. I'm drinking and I'm feeling like nothing is happening, so I drink another one. Na chupa ivi. When it tanka lakini? Fire. Fire. You are dying. The following morning. Mm -hmm. I said never ever. Mm -hmm. Now, McKenna, you can break my heart all you want. All these girls break my heart all you want. Mm -hmm. I ain't drinking shit. <laughs> you are going to drink. I am not drinking. <laughs> you are going to drink. Someone gave, gave <laughs> me money to drink. Uh -huh. No, someone gave me fifty thousand. Uh -huh. I had a shot of Yagamaist, uh, I think the black one. Is mm -hmm. it the black? The blue bottle. Oh, Daniel, you can't enjoy a pom. Maybe you don't give Oh no, but maybe you Google before the show. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, I had Googled. Yeah. Uh, Yagamaista is yeah the that black one, one with. The blue, in yes, a blue that one. Bottle. So he put it on a shot like this. I was like, drink it. Uh -huh. It's called Jimmy. Uh -huh. Yeah, I call him Mweshimwa Jimmy. I was like, drink it. I give you ten thousand. Like no. Mm -hmm. We were at, we were at Loft. Yeah. His, uh, his friend's place. Mm -hmm. So there he's like, drink ten thousand. I'm like no. He added ten. Obi never added ten. I'm like no. I can't drink, bro. I told you I don't drink. Added another ten. Now it's thirty. Bro, I can't drink. I yeah. added 40. I was like, I can't mm. drink. But you're like... added 5. I'm like, I can't... <laughs> he added another 5, it was 50. I'm like, give me the Super. money. <laughs> give it all to me. Give me the money, man. <laughs> so I did a shot. Pop. Uh -huh. Coming back and out like this. Here. It was heavy. So I just said, it. Jimmy was dead. He was <laughs> laughing. Because he did what all my other friends had not done. Yeah. So I was I. Jimmy, I tell me at the hundred k. Let's make him drink a little. Ah, Jimmy, this one is a is a gazla. <laughs> Go finish your money. So, yeah. <laughs> all right. So, uh, the first girlfriend, like the one who broke your heart first. Mm. Did you already have a kid with her before, like no. the year it happened? So now the baby mamas came after all these Thank two God. heartbreaks. Mm. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. How she was between my my second baby mama and my last baby mama. Mm -hmm. She was somewhere in there between. Mm -hmm. Because my first baby mama was way before. Like, my first baby mama was like my first love. I did this like an exclusive. <laughs> she was your first love. Not love. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. Your first? My first experience. For real? Yeah, Look so at you. Uh -huh. I was raised in a very spiritual family, yes. Christian family, mm -hmm. and all my life I was. I knew about Gialdems, uh -huh. but I never like had anything per se mm -hmm. so 
my first baby mama was my was a person that when you know I was like Woo! when it was in Campo. No, 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 no. I didn't go to campus. I was an office messenger, bro. Mm. Yeah, I was suffering in the street. So, listen, so when I was in high school, mm. I fell out with my uncle. So I've yep. just summarized the story. Yeah. So I go to sleep in the school. So I'm sleeping in the school sometimes, sometimes sleep in Majengo yes. with a friend of mine called Izzy. It's called mm. Izzy Chola. Then, one day I go with my best friend. It's called Dalmas to mm. their place. Sorry. Mm -hmm. When you go for lunch, mm. I see a small child, she's called Immaculate. Mm -hmm. She's my daughter until now. Yeah. She comes, I like kids. I'm like, Bidu, 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 Bidu. Bidu, Bidu. yeah. So she runs away and hides. So we play a beat. Uh -huh. You know me, I've gone for lunch, Kwakina, Dalmas, yeah. because mm. I don't have lunch. May I stay in school? I stay in my jungle school. Sometimes I sleep in school. Mm -hmm. And then when I'm about to leave, Mama Immaculate comes. It's like, Dalmas. Dalmas was called Butu then. Yeah. Butu, uh, Emma is telling me she has a friend here. So she went and called the mom. Oh, she was a single God. mom. Yeah. So that's how I met the mother, who is my first baby mama. And so, like, okay, so, so we said hi, then I went. So the following day, mm -hmm. I'm just in school that day, Dalmas has helped me. Mm -hmm. Then I see a text, you're not coming to the other, some small kabambe, I remember. Yeah. Then I'm like, who is this? I'm like, it's Mama Immaculate. I'm like, yo, no, I'm not coming. I said, why? Because Dalmas, is, she's like, come through, I'll hook oh, you up. Oh my God. So I used to go, she used to give me 10 bob, 20 bob. I mm -hmm. go downstairs, chapati chafua. Yeah. You know, the katakata chapati, they put soup on top mm -hmm. of it. Killer. I eat, so we started vibing like that. Mm. So when I finished school, then industrial area happened, all the jobs, yeah. I was selling water with the mkokoteni and everything. Then I had a job for offloading a container in Westlands, yeah. Kipro Plaza. Mm -hmm. It was 500 bob on a Sunday. Industrial area is 150. Yeah. So I said, ah, instead of sleeping, let me go do to this. It's 500. Then the whole week, I'm not going to industrial area to disturb myself <laughs> with those Indians. I said, no, I'll be here. So uh -huh. I came for the Chinese. Offloaded, I was lit because a lot of money, mm. I'm psyched. The boss liked me, it's called Chong Song Wang. Mm -hmm. He's like, Moses! So I was pushing a box, then someone was standing. Yeah. Then I said, if you have nothing to do, don't do it here. The boss laughed. Yeah. And then he told the HR, Moses, who is this boy? I think we should give him a job. Mm -hmm. It's called Chong Song Wang, a very short man. He was mm -hmm. just a little bit taller than you. No, go too, but <laughs> he was plumbing now. <laughs> then short, then looks like he had beat up someone. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. So that's how I ended up getting my office messenger job. Mm -hmm. Then now I moved from where I used to live mm -hmm. with uh, a couple of men in uh, Makongeni, mm -hmm. T4, Apo Wanjo. I moved to Landimawe yeah. from a Bati house, 4,000 mm -hmm. uh, 4, per month. Mm -hmm. So I told Mama Emma, mm -hmm. pull up, man. Hey. I'm a big boy. I'm being paid 10,000 a month. Hey. Yeah, I was bawling. So that is the time mm -hmm. when now I discovered yeah, something everything. <laughs> I discovered the garden of it. I was like, God damn, woo! No. And then to add on top of it, she was Kamba. Uh -huh. So she was not sparing Kambas. me. <laughs> yeah, she was not sparing me. Then she was Kamba and then she already had one toy. So experienced galore. Mm. So she was riding me like a doozy on the on a, on a wrong side of the road on, <laughs> and there's police chasing after them. So mileage, mileage before uh -huh. I know, boom, my boy. Oh, shit. My boy, I lose my job. I move back to Kalolen to a 3,000 house. Mm. I can't pay the bill. Before when the lucky dog go. Yes. When did you discover she's pregnant? And did you ever think of terminating the pregnancy? Because now... No, we didn't think about it. I loved kids. So okay. I was always excited So about you were ready for it? I was not ready, but, but it happened. Me, trust me, there's none of my kids that I was ready for. But when they happened, I was like, yo! Isha kuja me kuja. Yeah, I, personally, I don't believe in abortion. Can all men be like enough. him, Tafadali? I always believe on... We'll figure it out. Yeah. Because even me, I manage from the streets and look at me. Mm. So, we, only God knows someone's destiny. Yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, we moved back to Kaloleni, mm -hmm. 3,000 house, Kidogo Kidogo. Together now? Yeah, with her now. Mm -hmm. She's coming through. She goes back to the parents. They stay in Isili, up or next to the place called Josta. Yeah. So she would go there, come here for a week, Nini Nini. She's pregnant. This plot we went to, the landlady mm -hmm. had daughters. These daughters used to give us cinema. Mm -hmm. They remove all of us in our houses. They pang us outside. Oh, the toilet has clogged. So you someone threw oh, pads in the God. toilet. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you who had which girlfriend where as you who what? <laughs> hey, we used to be some odd like children. Mm -hmm. I could not pay, so all this furniture took them back to Makongeni. There's a friend of mine called Sami, he's mm -hmm. like a friend from the village where I used to stay. Yeah. They, then they got me in a disco matanga by there. They was hey. like, come and live with us. So uh -huh. that's how I moved from Majengo to mm -hmm. Makongeni. Mm -hmm. And then went to the village, went to Kisumu, Russia. My son was born in Russia. The mother had CS, I had to take care of Russia her. Russia Hospital. 
is oh. in Kisumu. Russia, yeah. Ukraine. Ukraine. Yeah, my boy is international. International. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Life didn't work. She came back to Nairobi. Yeah. Her mother sent her money. She came back. I always say if she didn't come back, probably I'll still be with her now. She yeah. came back and she left me. She was like, "Ah, you, you broke nigga." So me, I was uh, there's something called otongo. Mm -hmm. Otongo in Luo means farming for other people. Oh yeah. So I used to go farm for other people, and you don't want to be there still during the Nairobi. day. Yes. When the plantation is this high. Then now you're weeding, and then the leaves, mm -hmm. and then it is sunny. Mm -hmm. Makena, you'll see fire. Those mm -hmm. things slit you like this, then it's itchy, then you're sweating. The whole day until like around four, you're given like 50 or 70, well, depends on how you begin. You have suffered, my brother. Yeah, so she came back then. I was, I used, I also, I was, I was also also selling grass. Mm -hmm. Like now it's when you're weeding, so yeah. all that grass you collect, then I take them to some lady who used to have uh, uh, cattle. Mm -hmm. I'll go there, then she removes, she's like, no, these are bad, these are bad, these are bad. Then she give me 10, 10 bob, 5 bob, 20 bob, whatever. So I accommodated my fans. So then I came back to Nairobi later. Mm -hmm. Remember how she had come back? She doesn't want my yes. story. Like, yo, no, I'll take care of the boy, nini nini. So I come back, start going to National Theatre, nini nini. Who introduced you to the National Theatre now? National Theatre. Mm -hmm. I knew National Theatre when there's a friend of mine was called Nyapendi. Mm -hmm. So the father used to work uh, a long time ago with Nyambane, I think. Mm -hmm. So the father knew me and Yapendi, we were singing in high school. We were yes. in the same high school. Uh -huh. We used to love her to sing rap, ni, 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 ni. me and I see we in a group in Yapendi as yeah. well. So the father brought us to uh, Nation Media Group, up on Nation Building, downstairs, mm. then called Nyambane. He came downstairs. I think UFM was starting or something. Nyambane, the famous now. The Nyambane one. The legend. Yes. Mm -hmm. Told, oh, this, uh, this is my daughter and this is a friend. They sing, Nini, support them. Yes. Then I remember Nyambane gave us a CD and told us, go and cram these songs. I think he had a band or something. Yes. Mine was Deville. Always on my mind. Girl, you're on my mind. So I went. Oh, God, I saw it Cram that song. And then you're doing it like it's nothing. So no, I'm just giving you a story. So it was rehearsals All because right. now you have to come for auditions. Okay. Then one time we also went to KBC to meet someone else. I don't mm -hmm. remember who it was. Mm -hmm. So when coming back mm -hmm. is when I saw National Theatre. Mm -hmm. Then I saw Kenya performing as group dancing. Yes. So I asked the soldier, what's happening? There's like all oh, those guys dancing. I'm like, do people pay to go in? He's like, no, 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 just get in. So I got in. Wow. Then I saw, that's how I knew about National Theatre. Yes. Then I asked those guys, it was Moses. Who, uh, Moses were there. There's a friend of mine called Manuele. <laughs> uh -huh. So I asked them, these guys do these things every time. Like, yeah, yeah. That mm -hmm. time I remember we had school uniform. Mm -hmm. Then I asked them, can I rap? They said, yeah. Then I said, are you going to pay me? Then I remember Moses laughing. Moses by then came later to be mm. my manager. He was laughing, pay you? Even though you're not paid for shit. We're doing this for fun, oh, for the love of art. Yes. And at that Mugumo tree, it was mm. very dusty. Right now I've seen the food, very nice grass. Fisher, yeah. That was dusty. Mm -hmm. So I rap, nini, 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 nini. Me and I see and Yapendi, mm -hmm. we go back to school. So every Friday, I used to help her school and come. So later, when all this has happened in life, so when I come back to Nairobi, mm -hmm. I already know National Theatre is happening. Yeah. So I keep going there. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to club shows. We're doing club shows. That time, Eric Omondi is famous. Fred Omondi is famous. So I start rolling with them. Mm -hmm. So we're going to roast house. A friend of ours called King D is the one holding it down, paying Fred Omondi 10,000. I was given 1,000. If you're given 1,000, you divide three people. So it's like 300 or 350 and da 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 da. Okay. So this is when I meet my second baby mama. Mm -hmm. And I used to dance and you know sing the song is called Shake Them. Mm -hmm. Used to kill her. Dead. <laughs> shake them, shake them. Uh -huh. Make me feel nice. Shake them, shake them. Hey. Make me feel cool. Shake them, shake them. Come to the light. Shake when them, shake them. Show me when what you're you doing. Yeah, so I was doing dance. So I was uh -huh. calling him Jesus. Uh -huh. I floated. I'm like, you done no? Hey. So she used to come and check me out. And she was like, God damn, mm. my boy fine. <laughs> uh -huh. So before you know it, we were boys, nini nini, mm -hmm. relationship came about. Then instead of me going back with Akinawago to, I used to take Akinawago back to Makongeni. Mm -hmm. You remember my stuff, I took them yes. to Makongeni. So I still, it's like I had shares now in that house. Mm -hmm. So instead of going with Akinawago to Makongeni, I leave people, ah, you go to Mwimuto, Kwanags, with Otulo Tuol mm -hmm. and whoever. Me, I'm going to Ngara, she used to live in Ngara, so I just cross. Mm -hmm. So this going to Ngara, Relationship sealed. Mm -hmm. She used to cook fire githeri, by the way. Ooh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, we broke up after a period of time. Then about three months later, I think, she lost her job. So she called me crying. Oh, I lost my job. Da -da. She used to work somewhere in Akumat Mega. Mm -hmm. It was on uh, Nyayo, opposite Nyayo. Yeah. 
so me I go to comfort her, shoulder to, to lean on, to cry on. She didn't just cry on the shoulder. She, <laughs> <laughs> she wrote it as well. Yeah! <laughs> Not the shoulder, but you, you don't the, forget the, uh, about if, it. If you know, you know. Yeah. Uh -huh. So later, uh -huh. a couple of months later, she's like, yo, by the way, you know I'm pregnant. I'm like, what? Bruh. And we are not together. Were you scared? No. I mean, I'm from the streets. I know you are, but you already have the first one. Yes, and that was, the mother is not even talking to me this okay, time. Okay, so that one is... So me, I don't have no child, man. Mm -hmm. I ain't got no baby. Yeah, okay. I can't even go to their place. You go there like, what do you want? Oh, yeah. right. So, mm -hmm. uh, she's pregnant. I'm like, okay, cool. The liver will see how it goes. So life moves on. By this time, you know, now I'm with the one who yes. broke my heart. So mm -hmm. we have I been in She's my first lady. Yes. Da, 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 da. My, my first official first lady. Owago is the one who helped me vibe by the way. We were walking. <laughs> <laughs> this was an Owago. exclusive. <laughs> This is an exclusive. Uh -huh. We are walking from National Theatre. Uh -huh. We are going to South B, I think. Mm -hmm. So I'm walking on it's Tom Boyer. We have any Tom Tom Boyer. It's Tom Boyer. Mm -hmm. The one in front of archives. Yes. Archives, Tuskies, uh, this, whatever. Because streets miss it, Jesus says the streets. Okay, but okay, yes, okay. So one. from Odeon going all the way, from yeah. Kojan on the ball going all the way. So I'm walking. Mm -hmm. So when we get to there used to be Tuskies on the left then. Uh, archives on the right, but now there's a building here. Mm -hmm. So when you get there, on that building on the other side is Mr. Price. Yeah. So we, find, we pass this fine shot and, hey. and then I look at her and she looks at me and I look at her <laughs> back and she looks at me again. And we walk to Dogo, then you know Wago likes Mushene. Yeah. Wago is like, hey, oh, Jeezy, have you seen? Ah. I'm like, huh? What? She looks at you, I'm like, what? If I mean, I looked at her, she's like, are you serious? Are you serious? You're like, do it. I'm like, huh? We go back, we go back. Uh, yeah, for real? Yeah, what goes like me? We go uh -huh. back, we go back. So we turn, we start running, blah, 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 blah. You know, there's a lot of people in the street. Uh -huh. I'm like, excuse me. And she's like, what? It's like a curie. I'm like, hey, hi. I'm like, how are you? Da, 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 da. Uh -huh. You're Jesus, you're me, you're me, you're me, you're swear. You know, you're done. You're done. Yeah, badness. <laughs> so we exchange numbers, uh -huh. and that's how we ended up, you know, being together. So uh -huh. this time I'm with her, everything happens, uh -huh. you know. Then she breaks my heart, then I forgive her, and during this time I already now I was already now seen another person. Oh shit. Who is now my third baby mama. Mm -hmm. Because now when she's broken my heart and everything, yeah. you know people always have backup. You always know your next girlfriend or boyfriend is gonna be who. Chances if they ask you're inside or if this one messes up inside. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. So during this time mm -hmm. I'm going to National Theatre, I'm doing a couple of things mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. So my first big mama now pulls up like yo you gotta take care of the baby i'm like by all means that's what i've always wanted Aww. so i started paying nursery school for mm -hmm. him he was just starting school i remember mm -hmm. he used to have a flu always that thing used to annoy me because my kid used to fall weak every week <laughs> nowadays is when i realize mm -hmm. when you have a baby mama your kid is probably never sick yeah that makes sense yes. if you know you know okay if you know, you know, your kid is probably never sick mm -hmm. it's a money milking yes escapade Oh so God. I used to send money, the kid is sick, the kid is sick. I'm like, ah, which sickness is this? <laughs> so I had to, when the kid is sick, I'm, I'm coming to see the kid. I go buy the medicine myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this happened. Then I got the QFM Jobo yes. that I was uh, I was seen in a club doing stand-up. And mm -hmm. then I danced and did whatever. It was QFM Comedy Night or something. Yeah. Hosted by Alibaba and Alex Madenge mm -hmm. at Club Hearts. Do you think that was your breakthrough though? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. That was the moment where everything flipped because mm -hmm. Esther Mashara was in the audience. She was like, yo, mm. uh, come through, sit here, see what you can do. Yeah. While I'm sitting there, I'm still walking with Othul. Othul, Othul goes to shoot with Kajairo. Mm -hmm. Music comedy. I'm mm -hmm. there with Othul. We are seated down. Kajairo is shooting something. I crack a joke with a Nigerian accent. Kajairo is mm -hmm. like, wait a minute. Yo, bro, what did you say? Can you shoot that? I'm like, yeah, mm -hmm. let's shoot it. We go to the street. It was even at night. Yeah. We shoot the first episode of Kajairo. I see him talking on the street, I show up, I'm like, Mr. Kajaka, what are you doing here? I talk, I talk, I talk, I talk. Oh, I talk. Wow. So that night when they posted the uh -huh, video, uh -huh. that, that time it was just Facebook, yep. Instagram, Twitter, uh, NTV, Kajaro Music Comedy, first episode, boom, comments on Facebook, that guy, that guy, that, that Nigerian. guy, that guy. Uh -huh. That time, Brian and Cupid are doing a show on Easy FM, it's called Home, and they're trying to figure out what yes. they'll do. Uh -huh. I'm on QFM. Uh -huh. I was figuring out what I'll do. Now we've come up with a concept for a midnight show. Yeah. Uh, it's called Vulcan Asylum. Myself, Alibaba, and Rhino, the late, Tony mm. Kukuni. Mm. Uh, so, I do this one. Now, before midnight, mm. Akina Brian are here. But now me, I come early because I'm like a fresher intern in yeah. Nini. I'm hanging around. 
Sakina Brown are like, so we are talking in, in Easy FM, faders go up, they talk. I talk to the Niger accent, Nini Nini. Faders go down, I run to QFM to pray for my show. They play like two, three songs, they go back online, mm. people asking for me. Cupid runs calling, come, 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 come. I'm like, what, what, what did I do? Like, come, come. Guys asking for you. Uh -huh. I come back, guys are on air. Where's that idiot? Where's that stupid Nigerian man? And uh -huh. that's how we ended up doing the home run. Yeah. Which to me was the biggest radio show I've ever done mm. because the vibe was correct. Yeah. We were friends, we were buddies, we were having a good time. Yeah. We're enjoying it. We're not being paid anything per se. So. Like, totally, I'm all No, we're being given 10,000. Okay. I think I was being given 10,000 or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So after this time, Kajero is happening, yeah. Home Run is happening, Vuka Nasal is happening. Mm -hmm. India party, Nation is doing an India party. Uh, Akina Alibaba, uh, Alex actually, Alex Mateng is the one who told me, mm -hmm. we go. And Alibaba, I'm like, me, I can't go, I don't have fair back. It's yeah. at the plant, the Nation plant for printing magazines. Mm -hmm. It's on Mombasa Road. Great to all, come to Longo. Ah. I'm like, where? See, I've never mm -hmm. been there, Nini. Mm -hmm. They're like, we'll give you a lift. I remember I was given a lift. I get there, I'm sitting at the back with people, my crew, Nini, Akina mm -hmm. Brian, Akina Alex Madenka, I'm seeing guys are happy, mm -hmm. the organization is India, they're celebrating, I think they hit a bonuses and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Alex Madenka and Alibaba introduced me, they say, ah, there, there's someone here, you stupid Nigeria, man, come and say hi. <laughs> Worst mistake, best blessing. Oh, wow. I hold the microphone, I kill it, people are dead. The CEO, Linus Gitai, amazing gentleman, mm -hmm. dead. He comes now to give his speech. Mm -hmm. He's like, where is that Obina guy? Come here. Mm -hmm. Do you work with us? Yes. What do you do? I do this and this. Are you on permanent on contract? From today, you are permanent. Ah. From 10,000 to 70. Bro. You lie. Like everything was just happening. And then uh. he's seated at home. He's watching NTV. Yeah. He sees this show called Bedtime Show. Maybe that didn't like the host. Mm -hmm. Calls Charlene, Orian Fernandez. Tell them that show. Uh, tell the people to try a guy called Obina. Mm. They call me a tradition. Boom! Break time show. Me and Nice Gidenji. Wow. So Kajaro is a comedy. I'm on break time show. I'm on Easy FM and I'm doing Vukana style. Now Zotron and Lipo are differently, differently. Yes. Aya. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Millionaire. Break time million. show. We're going to all the high schools. Mm -hmm. So that means all the high school people are going to know me because yes. there's a show for high schools. Yes. So break time now positions me as this co comedian guy. Then I have a blonde mock, so I have to put on my coffee and in mini. Uh -huh. All this is happening. I do a guest feature on Comedy Club, mm -hmm. hosted by Alando Skisali, eh, Akina JB Masanduku, Nini mm -hmm. Nini, Akina Mad Max, Maxama, it's called Maxamax, yeah. Mm -hmm. They host it, they were imitated Akina Tuoli, Akina yeah. Akina Kevat in Shanikwa, mm -hmm. they were there. I do a guest feature, they like me, they keep me as, as a permanent guy, now I'm a host. JB left at some point, now mm -hmm. I remained as a host. This time, Kidokidogo, Nations, we. Mara home run is not working. Mm. I've been moved now. I'm in mid morning and I pay QFM. I've left QFM. Mm. Things were just happening yeah. in my life, you know. I'm still fresh. I'm getting money. I was the first guy on contract to be mm. given a car loan in Nation. I was given a check of 700,000. Shock. Boom. From the wow. streets. I was in a bus going to Mombasa with the check, which has never happened before. Uh. The GM is called Charles Mai. Uh -huh. Loved me. Dope person. He sold me my first woofer home theater at 30,000, it was an LG. He told me, I would give you, but if I give you, you'll feel like you've not earned it. Yeah. So you'll pay me whatever time, take whatever time you want. Yeah. But you'll pay me. I don't even remember if I finished paying him. Took me to the basement but of Nation, uh -huh. pointed at an Eastern Blue and told me, yeah, this car, this guy is respectable. Me, I wanted to run X, uh -huh. or a Ranks, something like that, or uh -huh. a Rush. He's like, no, get this guy is respectable. Call the Connects, like, I'm sending someone to Mombasa. I've still saved that person as Gary Coast Obina. <laughs> So went to mm -hmm. Mombasa, the mm -hmm. whole night I was in one of those buses. I, I think I couldn't even afford a Kinamash Kul oh, I was in the see. normal ones. Yeah. I'm sitting there the whole night with my check. I open, I look at it, I put it back. <laughs> I look at it, I put it back. 700,000! <laughs> I, I was just living uh -huh. Fall asleep, I feel someone moving. <laughs> yeah, like, no, bro. They want to steal from me, man. <laughs> you want to get some money? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, came back. Uh, Mid morning is happening. Kido Kidogo. We are doing mm. Offside on NTV, mm. the biggest yes. news parody show to happen in Kenya. Mm. Myself and Otoyo, the money, good, Nini, like things were just happening yes. in life, you know. And this time also, my other baby mama delivered. We had differences in mm. Nini. I bailed. She delivered. I went to the hospital to see the child with my mm. best friend. It's called Bashka. We had these cheap colognes, the refillable ones, the one for Somalis. Bashka is Somali. He's the one who hooked me up. So don't blame me. Blame him. <laughs> As you feel you are breathing. <laughs> 
when you apply that thing, you can't breathe. You're almost even walking like this, so yes. that people can smell it. Yes, yes. Uh -uh. Went to the hospital, we entered the ward like this, all the children started sneezing. <laughs> the nurses kicked us out, out of the ward. We want to kill children. We left the children with a home a proper. First initiation. Yeah, so later, life happened and... I don't know. So the third one and I could See now that was the third, third one. one. Oh yes, in the hospital now. Yeah. So after she was delivered, yeah. nini nini, <laughs> she started going to school. Mm -hmm. So I started going visiting, looking for school. Mm -hmm. Me and her we were bonding. So these bonding moments of seeing her when she was going to nursery, nini nini, oh is now what created the fourth one. Oh my god. Yeah. So my journey has been like that. Like I told you, none of my kids was planned, but they came and they are beautiful. And they're amazing. They're so cute. I see them no. actually. Ah, they didn't get the, really the cute. cuteness from me. That's for sure. Ha! <laughs> but in me. Ah, ah. Guys, see comment pale. Unakabile nataka. Mtu ajonange anyway, so. Ah, me I know. Please. Me I know. You know I yourself. Know. I know. Unajitambua. My kids, if not the mothers, could have seen fire. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then you came and you know, later on, somebody, I, I saw somewhere, somebody told you that. Easy class, yeah, we, are, we, are, we are moving in this organization, you cannot fit in. Okay. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about that. Which, which class? As a new organization, the road it was taking. Oh, where I'll I was fired. Clear. Yeah, where so I was fired. told uh, the organization a while ago. 20? I'm not good with dates, I'm good with memories. By the most dates, I don't know. Dates As and numbers. Was it Kumbuka years? No. Okay. Me, I remember stories. Mm -hmm. But at 2014, eh, the only Meguna Meguna has that. <laughs> 2014 <laughs> was on a Tuesday. May 16th, Sanane. Uh, who met who? <laughs> Viva. Uh, okay, I, okay, okay. So, so I just remember our organization was, uh, uh, I think before my birthday, somewhere May, mm -hmm. May, maybe April, May, somewhere there. Mm -hmm. So I was told the direction that the organization is going, mm -hmm. I don't fit in. In what sense? In the comedy sense? It was I just don't a know. And you are a I, I don't know. I have no idea mm -hmm. until they have never figured it out. You know, that's what bosses always say. Oh, the direction we are going, you know, da 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 da. Managing you, basically. Mm. When someone doesn't need you, they just let you go. Yeah. But thank you for firing me. Thank you. It was a blessing in disguise. I'm thanking them. Thank you. But if you didn't fire me, probably I would not mm. be here. I know, right? Yeah, the table would not be prepared in front of. I, personally, <laughs> my <enemies>. whole life, <laughs> my whole life, I've always been rejected. Mm -hmm. I've always been mistreated, underestimated. And that's normally my strength. Like even some clients will always call me for a job. Then they're like, well, this guy manage. Even when I go for meetings, I, I always laugh when I go for meetings in boardrooms. Mm -hmm. Then I'm in a suit, you know. Then I'm quiet. Then the clients tell me, you know, in this room, we want someone lively. We want someone lively, you know. We, we need you to be lively. Don't, don't be like this. I'm like, you all don't know Bina. Oh, what you're getting done now is Obina's representative. So you drive from... Me in front of the camera and on stage, I'm a different person. Yes than when the cameras are off. When the cameras are off, I'm chilled, I'm handling my business, mm. head down, you'll find me walking in the street doing whatever. Mm. When there's a show to be done, I'll give you a show. I know how to switch in between because mm. my whole life I've been an actor from high school, mm. actor, drama festival, and so I know how to flip. So I always know. So when someone underestimates me, I'm always very grateful. I'm like, you, you have no idea. Yeah. I see other people living with favor. I'm like, if someone gives me that chance, I'll show them oh, fire. So even when I was being let go, I was like, okay, I don't fit in there. How could you feel? But you felt it. Of course, you have to feel it. Yeah. But I didn't feel it so much because the money I was being paid was shit. Okay. It's not money that I would for 30 days. I come there, I sit there for five hours. <laughs> then you pay me shit. And then uh -huh. ah, I looked at it. I was, the money was shit. I was like, you know, it, it's called withdrawal symptoms. Yes. You always have the, you don't want to let go. But you know, I don't need it. It's just like people who are in abusive relationships. Yes. Yes. You know you have to leave this abusive relationship. But you just can't. But you can't because you fear of missing out. You're like, so if I leave, what Being next? Alone. So that's what I was like. So if I leave, but uh, okay, we move, move man. We move. Ah, thank God. Me, my whole life, I've been rejected and <laughs> we, we thrive. You drive We are that. seeds, man. You throw uh -huh. us in the Nini to Nanawiri. Wow. And then now, before that, we get to your kiss, that's because, wow, that is where you are right now. Before that, we get to kiss. But would kabla talk about family life. Is Obina dating? I'm sure a lot of ladies will want to know this before they throw their shots. Niko single kiasi. <laughs> Hashtag single kiasi. Lena na kariba, we see you. Mm. <laughs> but seriously though. I've told you, niko single kiasi. Mm-hmm. Mm. Fifty-fifty. Ato Nairobi yenyewe, sindio? Ah, character development. <laughs> Me, I've been beaten right now. Me, I'm not going to get out of here. 
You see, like backpackers, they always have their things ready. Mm -hmm. Me in every relationship I get into now, mm -hmm. I'm ready. For anything. I know it can go south, so I'm just. But you're still timing. hopeful. What I'll tell you is this mm -hmm. I believe in love. Mm -hmm. I love being loved. Yeah. I love loving. I believe in respect, mutual mm -hmm. understanding. I believe in uh, going with the flow as well. Yeah. Then I believe in non definition. Let's not define. Okay. Because the minute you define, you limit. Yes. Let's love each other. Let's see how it goes. I'll mm. respect you. I'll never do this. You'll respect me. You'll never do this. Mm. And then let's see. But then we say, can you be my girlfriend? You know, that's like in putting funga. ownership. Yes. That's ownership. You can't own a human being. You're mine. <laughs> You're my girlfriend. You're my girlfriend. But you know? it, 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 it has a point. You'll get married. Am I you planning to get married? Marriage is a scam. Or busy. Marriage is a scam. Mm -hmm. Cream took it back. I ain't taking nothing back. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Ah, marriage is a scam. Where? For real. So you, you're never planning for some to. some people, no, not now. Mm -hmm. I but don't maybe think in, so. in future. Maybe I don't know. But for now, from what I know, mm -hmm. from what I've <laughs> Character seen, development. Hey, people change. Uh -huh. I meet McKenna like this. She's perfect. First month, first year, good. Mm -hmm. Get a few toys. Where? Majimoto. The man will change, or the woman will change, mm -hmm. because people change. Yeah. And you know the idea of marriage, or how we understand it, is that you're stuck with someone forever. Yeah. That's the idea of marriage. Yeah. And then the minute you marry someone, you can't tell them, oh, McKenna, this is not working. See, now we move. They'll get offended. So oh, you know. Mm -hmm. na, na, na. So you have to stay there for whatever. So that's why I'm saying marriage is come. Marriage is an idea that says you have to stay with one person forever. Preferences change. But divorce is also an option. Though not the best option. The minute you are married, now divorce is ugly. True, true. Most divorces are ugly, it's noisy, it is painful, it is messy. Mm. Let's divide the kids. So you I'm taking what? So you we signed a prenup. Mm. So you need the best thing, don't marry. Yeah. Have a good time. Have your house, I have my house. If it's things don't sound. work out, stay in your house, I stay in my house. Mm. Simple. You can come sleep over, you come sleep over. We move. Yeah. But this thing of moving into one house, then now you consolidate, now you're splitting assets, nini yeah. nini. But Let's start. how do you like so maturely and responsibly? Uh, co-parent because I've seen you with all the kids at once if I'm not wrong right yeah. I saw a video of mm. all of you together yeah how do you do it so peacefully knowing that you may disagree with the moms but still the kids are yours so they are ours but you know they still meet and have fun together how does that happen who told you it's peaceful ah okay from the it's video. been loud and messy for real <laughs> no you guys are nothing now I've had my fair share of baby mama drama mm -hmm. I've had my fair share of Court case with children in Nini. Ni. Fida, yes. You wanted to take their mama. They wanted to yeah, take I wanted to take them away. Them. I've stolen them from their mothers. Their mothers have stolen them from my house. We've had our back and forth. I've stolen them from the school. They've stolen from the school. Uh -huh. We've had those Maki Kafika point. Ah! You stay with the child. And then when you do that, they're like, uh, see, then you just stay with the child. You know, baby mamas like fighting. Eh? Yeah. Not almost. So, yeah. They like it when you engage. When you engage, they feel good. You see, so when you stop engaging them, they wonder, why is he not engaging? Mm. Then now they give you the child. Mm. But now I came out and derived a very nice uh, equation. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. How to keep a baby mama happy mm -hmm. is equal <laughs> to money or wogro wogro. <laughs> so if you're so paying, you not paying your baby mama, uh -huh. you're sleeping with a baby mama, uh -huh. you'll have a happy baby mama and you'll always be able to see your child. So for yours, it's for the money? It was for the money. Until I took my kids. You know, the minute you've taken your kids mm. now, and then you've fought, we've had the money part, you need to go to a point then. Uh, uh, me, I left my, even my son. My son, the mother took him and they stayed with the mother for a while. And I was like, so this after back and forth, I was mm. like, ah, stay with da da da. Mm. Stayed with my son until me, I was called to a police station to go pick my son. Mm. They had run away from the mother's place. Yeah. They've gone to, they've said now they're coming home. So the mother live, used to live somewhere called Rironi. Mm -hmm. If you know, it's in past, near Limuru. Yeah. It's like a village and everything. So they ran away with Emma. You remember Immaculate? So Immaculate the and my son. One. Yes, the first one. Now my goddaughter. Mm -hmm. So and my son. They've run away. They're coming back to where I stay. Oh my God. So I'm staying in Motaiga. Mm -hmm. So in Kikuyu area, people have been sensitized so much that they cannot see a child walking the street. Yeah. They, they are not chokoras there because people walk. Yeah. They take to the police station, they look for your home, you are returned home yeah. or you are taken to school or something mm -hmm. like that. By the way, I would love to see that around Kenya. So, mm -hmm. this policeman see my son and the daughter, which was there. I think it was God working. Yeah. Take them to Kikuyu police station. Yeah. 
they are being asked muna toka wapi munaenda we are going home where mutaiga police are looking at the way they are looking they're like no yeah, a lie. Mm -mm. no mm. they are looking like chokoras so like which mutaiga which school do you go to so my son used to go to Brights Park kindergarten mm -hmm. but when the mother took akam kwamilia they were going to another school so my son and emma they are not saying the other school they're saying my son saying Brights Park kindergarten hey so the policemen are ah so they go to the, the, the police station, yeah. they have Nini's uh -huh. database for schools. Uh -huh. So they look for bright sparks. So they call the principal. Mm -hmm. She's called Cheshazia. Shazia had already gone and told her, oh, so Liron is not coming back. The mother mm -hmm. took her. Mm -hmm. So the school fees, I moved to the other toy because I'd already paid the school fees. Yeah. And me and Shazia, we were cool. Very good teacher, principal, yeah. good school. Mm -hmm. So they call her. Then she called me. It was on a Thursday. Yeah. I remember because I was going to Carnival for Churchill show. Mm -hmm. So me, I'm on Langata Road. I'm just in here in Carnival. I'm seeing a call of Shazia. I'm like, ah, see, I finished school fees. Yeah. Hey, Malimu, how are you? I'm good. So I've been called. She's Indian. I've been called by uh, a policeman. They are saying from Kikuyu Police Station. Mm -hmm. They're saying they have Liron. Might this be our Liron? I'm like, uh, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Can you go check out? I'm like, yes. Very fast. U-turn, bypass. Thank God there's a bypass. Yeah. I get on the bypass all the way to Kikuyu Police Station. Yeah. I get in there, I find Liron and Immaculate. Yeah. They come jump on me, cry, nini nini, happiness. Oh Their mother also walks in. Apparently, the mother has not because been found. She, up, yeah. she was looking for them. Mm. So she went to the police station, found them. Mm. Now it's in Emma. Oh she says she's going with them. The, the kids, kids are, are crying. They're saying, you. we are not going with her. Uh, yeah. She's asked what's happening. They ran home. Why? Then uh, they ask what happened. Oh, mom is mistreating us. Oh, mom is beating us. Mom is giving us job. And then she's sitting there. She's saying, I tell them oh to do work, they don't want to do work. In my head, I'm like, oh, God, thank you. Kids are not supposed to work. Yes. You know me in my house, my kids, the only work they do is clear the plates from the table, yeah. clean the table, sometimes wash the plates when auntie's supervising, yeah. so they know. I teach them how to cook. Sometimes we cook together, mm. you know, clean the carpet, so they know. Clean the balcony, take care of their pets. Yeah. So they know, but not the one for go do that on the way as we are brought up. Go to the farm, go to the day, come one on bed, all that. You see, uh -huh. so the minute she said that, and there were ladies who were sitting there while still listening to this yeah. case, they're just like, Mama, do you know we can lock you up? Yeah. In my head, I'm dancing, I'm like, Woo, yee, 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 yee. but I'm just sitting there with, with a poker face, like, okay, and the letter, yeah, poker face. I'm mm -hmm. like. So the kids ask, who do you want to go with? The kids cry. They're going. They, they are seated on me that time. They have had oh me. They are not going God. anywhere. So that's how I ended up having my son. Oh. So remember, my son was with them. Yes. So I ended up having my son. Just like everything just aligned to mine. Yes. So we came back home. I stayed with her, I think, for about a week. Mm -hmm. Then I had to return her because, you know, she's not mine. Then the mother said, oh, you oh, know that. Okay, okay. But now I spoke with her, changed her school, started paying her school fees in a different school because, mm -hmm. you know, that lady was already married to someone else. Oh. Yeah, and they already had another child. Oh, my God. So I was taking care of Immaculate and going to the school. Mm. The teachers were calling me directly, school books, in Nini, everything, the whole shebang. So my second born as well, I've also had a fair share of drama yeah. with the mother going Nini Nini, da 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 da, to a point, ah, stay. So in my second born, I think, was standing, I think, nine mm -hmm. or eight. The mother was like, what do you think of staying with Bree? <laughs> For real? So I'm like, you! But I text back, what do you mean? It's like a, I don't, I don't like jokes because me, I always want to stay with yeah. my kids because when I stay with them, I can give them the life I want. Yes. You know, if I send you money, you'll think about, hey, do I buy that or Let do I buy Let me buy my outfit first. Exactly. Before. You make your hair and you know the way ladies are. Not all. So that. she handed over the child on a silver platter after a lot of other drama. Yeah. You know, then now my last baby mama, we've never had like any fights because we're really? even living together. Yeah, we're living together mm -hmm. uh, for a while. So... We've never had those type of dramas with her. She was more Sena. No, we've never had. No, we, we are we are yet to. For it might be coming. God forbid. It might be loading. God forbid. No, you know when everything is nice, you have to brace yourself for when things are bad. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. now that things are nice, you never know what's coming. Uh -huh. But you guys yeah. are not like dating or something. No, so no, no, no. Neither too nice compared to parenting. It's complicated. Complicated. Yes. Single kiasi. Single kiasi. <laughs> uh -huh. So. Uh -huh. Uh, basically, that's how I've ended up always having, mm. but I've always been a constant in my kids' life. Yeah. I'll fight to have them, they'll fight to have them back, we'll fight to have this, da 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 da. They'll mm. want this type of money, I'll say, no, I don't have that type mm. of money, da, da, but I've always been somewhere. Co parenting is not easy. It is. Because most mothers will raise their children and make their children think they have deadbeat fathers, yes. not knowing you just have a bitter mom. Because 
baby mamas will want to give you your children mm. on their own terms. Yes. Oh, I'm giving you my child and don't introduce this child to your women. Yeah. What if I'm Do dating? you really think mm. that a man has time to go sit down with your child and tell them, you know, this is... Okay, let's say worst case scenario introduces your child to another woman. Mm -hmm. Does that make you not the mother of that child? Of course not. It doesn't change anything. Mm. And children always go back to their mothers. So if you have a dumb baby mama, she'll always just be thinking, oh, you're introducing her to your women. <laughs> so you're refusing for a father to see the, chi the child or the children mm -hmm. just because you're petty. Yes. Then you say, he does not even see the children because he's tired. Yes, true. He gets to a point a man is like, ah, fuck off. Stay wherever you want. When you want me, you'll come and look for me. Yeah. Then she'll keep quiet, insult you to her friends, discuss you, which does nothing, by the way. Your friends will hate, which still does nothing, by the way. <laughs> then later, she'll come back, cool down. Mm. Or when the baby's sick, now she calls you, baby's sick. Also, attitude and everything. Mm. Like sometimes, baby daddies just want to be in the life of their children. But most ladies make it so hard. So hard. And then, there are also some men on the other side who instead of being in the life of their children, mm. they just, that's not my child, the child does not look like me. Who told you the child has to look like you for them to be yours? I know, right? All you have to do is very, very simple, yeah? Do a DNA. Yes, yes, true. The child does not look like mine, but let's do a DNA so I can man up. Yes. Just do a DNA. Oh, me, I don't want to do a DNA. Me, I just have a feeling. The child is not mine. Who are you? Are you Angel Gabriel? You have a feeling. <laughs> do a DNA. Uh -huh. Stop buying bottles for people in a club. People you don't know and your child is suffering. True. Stop being stupid. Can all men in Kenya... Makofi, makofi, makofi. They can't clap for Can you all... because you're striking a nerve. The men will not clap. The women will clap maybe. But the men... Some men just piss me off. But I don't you're so understand responsible. why. Not all... Guy, Jesus. Can all of you... Like... No, most men are in situations. But me, I'm talking to the ones that... You are refusing to take a DNA test to just prove if the child is yours. Yes. Yeah, you're just like, you know, or you're frustrating the child because yes, you have money. Mm. So you're frustrating the mother. You have a couple of children. No, you're mm. taking care of these children, you're not yeah. taking care of the other ones. Bro, they are all your children. True. Treat them. Me always have my children. Even when I buy them stuff. Mm. Okay, apart from Pushki, my last born doesn't. <laughs> Pushki is a special one. Of course, like last born too. Last yes, last born is a... Uh, she gets away with, with murder. <laughs> yeah, anytime you go to the house, you have to take for her Skittles. Nini, oh. nini. But you always give her Skittles. You're like, divide with the others. She loves Skittles. Mm. Or uh, bites and stuff. Mm -hmm. But the others, equal. Me, I like even the hairstyle this one is having is the hairstyle this one is having. Oh. If you buy this one something, this one the same. Da, 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 I always try to balance. We fall short sometimes as parents because... As much as you love your children equally, there's always one that you love more than the other one. Yeah. Then there's one that will always be doing mistakes. Yeah. We'll always be looking at them like, this one is not mine. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, like this one. Uh -huh. This one, we are Liangushua. Are this you a one. disciplinarian though? Yes. Hey. Are you? You're talking like that sweet dad. Daddy, you attack a sweet sour. Chuka baba? No, 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 no. no. Even now, uh -huh. my kids just, like I'm always solving cases. Mm -hmm. I was just here then. My kids sent me a voice note. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to look for the for their phone here. Okay. So mm -hmm. always mm -hmm. they're in the house, but I'm always the one who I'm the. Yo, what's the name of? Uh, yes, I don't chuna. I don't believe in kuchuna. Yes. Oh. So they're even trying to voice call. Me. See. Dad. See. Dad, chuna na pushki sa salkonga. See, so it's always case after case. Each other. Yes. So this WhatsApp is always Dad, Pushki is doing this. Dad, Nani is not doing this. Oh, yeah. There was another one even here that I was solving for it was for, for sharing. Uh -huh. So it was always oh, Pushki this and then you know Pushki always knows she'll get away with this. She does a couple of things. Oh my so I'm God. always on the phone, case after case, because I'm the disciplinarian. Yes. And then the only, when they always told, we'll tell dad. Uh -huh. Everybody. Yeah, me and my kids know I don't take nonsense. You'll spoil I want them, them to be kind. Yes, yeah. let's be kind to each other. If you're good to me, I'm good to you. Yeah. I don't owe you. I've told them I don't owe you anything. Mm -hmm. I'm taking care of you because I want to. Yeah. And I can stop yeah. and don't do A, B, C, D. Yeah. And also, I just don't tell them don't do it. I tell them why not. Yeah. Don't do this because this will happen. Mm -hmm. Don't do that because that will happen. And then I tell them that everything has consequences. Mm -hmm. So they have to know it. Then... When you do a mistake, mm. punishment is coming. Oh, yeah. Yes. Belt has to pass somewhere. Eh? Ah, I don't talk like that. If you talk to a child like that, you'll make them stupid. For real? Talk to a child proper. Talk <laughs> chapa. Yeah. For those parents, this is for mothers, by mm. the way. Mm -hmm. Parenting 101.
Don't talk to a child like an idiot. Baba, taka tidi, taka tidi. Damn, stop it. Talk to your child direct. Baba, you want sweet? That's how they learn. You understand? Yes. Because if taka tidi, you are developing another language. Now your child is just an idiot, and you're wondering why your child is an idiot and you are not an idiot. You you imparted it. Baba, taka tidi tidi. Tidi, baba, tana, tana. Talk to your child the way you I'm want sorry. for them to understand. It's true. Those mothers, children are just slow. The child is just slow network. Too. The child just looks high all the time. And then you find other women, by the way, the ones who smoke weed when you're pregnant. You're smoking weed, smoking weed, smoking weed. You're delivering a child. You're like, ah, Baba, Baba does not talk. Baba, ah, Baba, I'm poor. Baba can sleep the whole day. No, that child is high. So, <laughs> I think Baba can sleep the whole day. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> okay, now I'm done with you. Uh, I think you, Baba. Oh. If I give Baba porridge like this, I think okay. Baba kinyonya too easy. Baba is asleep. No, Baba is high. Baba is high than a kite. Baba is just looking. You're wondering why your child is always... Yeah, your child never cries. Your child is, is high. Dope. <laughs> Okay, so I was so. Your child, you think he's tired? You think he's smart? Shisha, not smart. You're like my child is so kind. You know, my child doesn't cry at night. Child is high. You smoke weed. You are drinking alcohol and everything while you're pregnant. You're messing up the baby. So stop it. Talk to a child like a grown up so they understand. I'm not saying have grown up conversations. Yes, of course. But. Don't make them full idiots. sentences. Don't make the child an idiot. Baba, yeah. Taka TV. Mm. Then also everything your child wants they get. Yeah. No. Make your child understand mm. early yeah. that in life you're not handed anything. Yeah. So let them work mm. to achieve. Ma, Zidi. <laughs> Chica. Ma, ma. <laughs> okay. Now let's come to. What of the day you cannot give the child anything? <laughs> She'll suffer. They will suffer. Yeah, sure. because when they come to this world, the world is not kind. Yeah. They'll not be handed anything. Yeah. Then now they end up now. We have children who don't have self-esteem, mm, mm. committing suicide, we are depressed and everything because yeah. we used to be handed everything. Mm. Then now you come to the world, you're not handed anything. Start making your children hard go mapema, then give them targets. Mm. Oh, you want a phone? Sawa, if you give me this, like me, I told my kids the last uh, exam, mm -hmm. everybody who gets a hundred percent on their paper is a thousand, Bob. If you get 80, it's mm. 800, 70, 700, mm. like that coming all the way. Yeah. You see, so they tried, they, 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 they did quite a number, mm -hmm. but they knew if you worked through this, by the way, I never gave my kids money. That was the what first time I gave them money. Even Leon was like, Dad, you said you don't give kids money. I was like, yeah, but this is your Aww. savings, uh. so you can save them. And they are, they are putting them in their piggy bank, mm -hmm. because every other thing they're getting anyway. Yeah. Then if they get money anyway in the house, they know where to take the money. Mm -hmm. They always know, Dad, I found money I put in your drawer. I found it. So that they mm -hmm. don't start stealing. You know, if you used to give your kids money, they don't give them, they steal. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because they feel like you owe them. You're obligated to give yes. them, you see. Mm. So give them plans, mm. give them goals, even short rewards. Mm. Baba, you remove those plates to from the table and then you come and watch that movie you like. Mm. Yes, they'll remove. Yeah. Reward is there. So they know for me to sit down and do this, this has I to happen. To this but you're just there. Baba, yeah. No, they're being uh, responsible. A neighbor is, uh, uh, a visitor is coming in. <laughs> the child, ah, the <laughs> Sibuya, Sibuya, again. It's like, uh -huh. please, Obina, uh -huh. please give, give Toto your phone. As in, let, let Toto Karibadum pinch you. Yeah. yeah, let Toto pinch you so to. Don't talk about you now again. As like, oh let, let the baby pinch you uh -huh. so the baby cannot mm. cry. Yeah. You're growing up, stupid children. Yeah. Yeah. And now, hey, the car you're driving right now, are busy. Which one? I have a couple. Uh, driving okay. two. The latest, Basi. The oh, the new baby. The new baby. RX 450 hybrid. How much, sir? Nah, small money. So Let's not even talk about it. Is it uh, 10 million plus? Just no, to give us no, a figure. No, 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 no. Uh -uh. Mm. It's not 10 million. It's, oh, it's more. Uh, no, no. Oh, uh. eh, you are, uh. you are If the me. car I want to buy is 8 million, what are you saying more? Mm. The car I want is 8 million. Okay. Range Rover Sport. Mm -hmm. That's where we're going. Yes. And you'll get it for sure. For we sure. will. Hey, me where I'm coming from. Mm -hmm. uh, if you know the cars I've had, mm -hmm. it's been a journey. Hey. So we are getting there. Yeah. Yes. And then you got a job at Kiss. Congratulations, my dear. Thank I'm you. I'm so proud of you, Yanni. Your congratulations is too late. But anyway, I was among the first people to I'll post bring you. To that. I was among the first people. You to didn't post call you. me. Do you know how many people posted me? 
I even texted you on WhatsApp. Do you and know you how many replied. people posted me? So I texted you. Do you know how many people texted me? I'll, I call you. Are what, you sure what, I was what, the one who was replying to you? Why do you always tell me? Why do you always tell me? When I call, you always like text me. Ni makuseti, bella camera, usine kelebas. Because I'm always doing something Thank or you. I'm always. Yeah, but. So I know okay. you are a text person. Yes, but so I'm a text you person. Yes. Aye, asante. Aye. But it's too late. <laughs> but we move. We <laughs> move. Regardless. <laughs> we move. Ah, yeah. So, so, yeah. so you got a, a job at Case? Yes, I did. How was the first day like working with Kamene? I loved it. Mm -hmm. Because Kamene is my boy. I've known her for quite some time. Mm -hmm. So it was more of continuing the vibe we were having off air. Yes. We're now having it on air. But now in a controlled situation. Yes. I just felt like we we're being limited, Kidogo. Because mm. you know when you're talking outside, you say everything. Mm. Yeah, my <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, but it was fun. Yeah, I loved and, it. And uh, wh what about how can you address the people who are saying you're already smashing her? I'm smashing. Come in. Yeah, am I not a man? Eh. Eh? Don't you have needs? Don't I have needs? Don't I have needs? Eh. 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 I have needs? <laughs> <laughs> is, uh, she, is she not fine? Uh -huh. Is she not fine, girl? Uh -huh. huh? Please, Abe, go here, leave me, Joe. Uh -huh. ah, you are smashing. Ah. Okay, what if I am? Ah, What's your business? Hey. What in the. Is she not a woman? Am I not a man? Is she not a man for a woman and a woman for a man? All right, all right. <laughs> I beg. Why are you leaving me? So, the, when I go you smash her, you will know. I Trust am. me. For real though. When I will smash you, you know. Uh, Trust me. We, we will all know. Ah, come here. watching you. Kamele is the kind of girl when you smash, you put it in front of people like this. In your face, bitches. Ah. Yes, I did it. Yeah. <laughs> so you just wait. But no, not but yet. She's, she's my work I know, now. She's I my know. boy. Like I've known her for a long time. Mm. If I was to smash, probably could have happened. Kitambo, off or probably it will happen. Yeah, it doesn't have to be now. Yes. We've only worked one week. You guys already worried. Imagine. We've not even started doing club shows together. You wait till you see us in Biani. Or you see us shaking our nyash on a yacht in a thong. <laughs> <laughs> and then, okay. So Jalas said, yes. I had an interview with him before he left Kiss. Pale Kiss. And he said, Aliambiwa, uh, Aki lose, God forbid, if yeah. he loses uh, that position. Mm. Yeah. He's coming back to Kiss. And? Are you ready for late night? Whoa, busy. Whoa. I'm just messing with you. I know, I know. I'm messing with you. He's my boy. Yeah. No, me, I told Kiss. If he comes back mm. and you guys feel like he needs to go back to breakfast, mm. by all means. For real? Trust me, I will move. If I have to move to another show or if I have to stop, I'm okay. Do you have a plan B though? I've In always had up to plan Z. Ah, okay. Listen, mm. before this I was jobless. Mm. I've been fired a number of times before. Mm. I'm ready. I'm from the streets. Mm. I know how to survive in the streets. Mm. I even said if I work even at Kiss for a month and I'm told to, I'm let go or I get something better or something happens, mm. I'll be content. Mm. I'm contented because that's what I've always wanted. Yes. Did you hear the sweeper today morning? They've changed it. Kamene and Obina. Hey. Do you hey, know for hey. you to have such a thing in Kiss what it means? Yes. It means you're the big boss. You're the boss of the bosses. Yes. So For all sure. these other comedians, the noise they will make, but they're below. <laughs> <laughs> or guard the top. And That's why I'm called the guard the top. Yes. So, uh -huh. even if it's a week, mm -hmm. even if it was just a day, mm -hmm. and I'm told, Obina, thank you very much, I'll be like, yes, mm -hmm. my resume is changing. Where have you worked before? Uh, Kiss 100, breakfast. Yes, of course. I've done breakfast. Do you mm -hmm. know, I've done all the shows. I've done late night, mm -hmm. QFM. Yeah. I've done evening, mm -hmm. Easy FM with yeah. Akina Brand, mm -hmm. 8 till midnight. I've done mid morning with San Ipe. Mm. I've done drive with Anto. Mm. The only show that was made was breakfast. Yeah. And nobody you better do it come in. I've done it. Yeah. Mm. So we move. Yeah. Me, I'm ah, let, let him come back. If he's uh -huh. ready, mm -hmm. his space is waiting for him. I'm just holding for him. Oh. I'm taking care of Kamene. Kamene is safe, Mwesh. You go win the seat. But let him wesh we we. So you just win the seat and you don't have to come back here. See so you know, let my children go to Aga Khan. Don't be like that, eh? <laughs> Even if you don't get the seat, Mwesh, do some other things. Government. Yeah, you get a seat somewhere <laughs> in the Jalapa, government. We love you. you know, in the office of the president, uh -huh, ni nini. Uh -huh. talk to Baba, mm. Akina Sifuna, ni nini. Mm. do something in the party, Uko, ni nini. Yeah. Now you're coming back to Radio Mwesh. Now you I want me to go back to the seat. Mm. Mwesh, you know the way you've always held my hand. Mm. Sacrifice this job just for me, eh? Just for. That's a blackmail. <laughs> two years. Two years. Emotional blackmail. I don't blackmail. for too long. Two years. Uh -huh. Two years. <laughs> <laughs> you came up with an amazing show. Like I'm such a fan, Jesus. Mimi, we have watched with Kwanza with my parents. My mum and dad. Kula kula show. Mm. Is the one we're doing yeah. Uh, uh, Mimi Sina. Oh yeah, you're my guest too. So. Yeah, I'm your guest, so I'm uh, kula kula. No, but sometimes I don't eat. So I'm the, I'm you The budget is tight. <laughs> my budget was tight today. Mm, the budget is tight. Ah yeah, so you came up with that show. 
amazing, amazing show. Like me and my mom and my dad and sister, Thank you. we always watch it. Have you watched the latest it. one? Okay, Vini Baite. Okay, sorry. See, sorry. Would you jokes? Ni mocha te riko. Ni mocha zote. Almost okay. Now, if you were the one for KRG, you will die. You laugh till you die. For real. It's just air today. It's air today. KRG is cartoon. He's funny. I know. I've hosted him on my show actually. KRG is funny. Where? Hmm. KRG's episode is my my current favorite now. For real. Yes. I'll have to watch it, guys. And you still haven't watched Mbogi Genge? Noted. I've already shot Mbogi Genge. I've shot with uh, uh, this boy who dances with people in the in the Moya market. Dave. Moya David. Yeah. I've shot with Lit Boy. Moya ni watch. I've shot with Lit Arrow Boy. boy. Uh-huh. So those episodes are still not aired. Yeah. We still have a lot for you. For real? I've shot with Jamal Ro Safi. There's a lot that you're gonna juice. That's you need to me nikuja nikule juu Mr. Celebado. I just problem. want to eat your food. Ah yeah. No, see food I just buy you. Just order. <laughs> If he's just eating, ah, food I'll just hungry. buy you. I'm not hungry. No, I just want to appear like that one day you are hungry. That day you are hungry. Mm-hmm. Tell me. No, I just want to see my face on your show. Okay, but so anyway. when I'm interviewing the next person, I call you just pass by. <laughs> Is it me you're talking to like that? Or so you said you want your face to be seen show. on the show. I uh-uh, leave my show by the way. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. But seriously, though you're doing a good job, but then again, people started saying unaiba idea ya Diana B. That's what I wanted you to address now. Only well, someone about ideals is that Diana because okay. she started Hazard last year or something. Listen, uh. so this is the way everything started. Mm-hmm. I was DM'd by someone, a fan, yes. told me this is your idea mm. on Nairobi Gossip Club's page. I've not even seen it. Yeah. So, me, I look at the DM that sent, I see Diana eating with Rington. Mm. And I remember we had to shoot with Rington, but he kept on postponing. Yeah. So, I'm like, see, this is Kula Kula. Personally, the videos I've seen for Diana, I've never seen her interviewing anybody. Always here being surprised. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I'm, crying. I'm going to die. Okay. I've seen a lot of that. So, I've never seen uh, her eating. Mm-hmm. So, when this happened and Tumbil interviewed me, then I was like, yo, man, this is my concept, you know, yeah. let's at least acknowledge. You can, you can do a similar concept, yeah. but give credit where it's due and nini. And then guys are like, no, Diana's been doing Cook and Reveal. That's when I understand a show is called Cook and Reveal. Yes. But what does cook and reveal mean? Like you have to go to the kitchen first. Cook? Ingredients, prepare. And then? Reveal. You reveal? Yes. Is there anywhere written eat? No. What's kula kula? Just eat. No preparing, no nothing. It's already Same ready. Same thing. Mm. So mine is eat. Theirs is cook and reveal. Mm. So then when they decided to cook and reveal and sit down and eat ringtone, I don't know how it happened. Yeah. Then later when I understood the concept, I was like, by all means, girl, yeah. go do it. Because if... If I was to sit down and, and watch Diana for content, mm. ah, watch, 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 watch. Yeah, we are just for peace and love and positive. No, but I'm just saying, like I would sit down and look at Diana's show, then I'm like, you know, I need to do... Ay, where? Mm-hmm. Where have I reached as a creator? <laughs> do you know the concepts I do? I know, they're amazing though. There's Kula Kula show, mm-hmm. which is for eating. This one was, actually the way it started was mm. me cushioning celebrities during the pandemic mm. so the idea was i was going to the celebrities houses we cook and eat then mm. i give them some money mm. but celebrities houses look bad so most of them refused mm-hmm. so i called them to spm bar's office yes. where we are doing mm. so we would eat and do whatever if you were the first episode i had to give them five thousand in the end of the show mm. a goodie bag and everything and then later we started adapting when covid was turning down and yes. things were opening so we started going all out so that's how kula kula came mm. and then I have taxi problems which I'm sitting down with people who have used taxi to yeah. share their problems yeah. so that we have a safer commuting environment. Yeah. Most of my shows by there are more of CSR, per se, nearly all of them. Mm. Like Kula Kula or CSR back to the artist. Mm. I feed you, I give you something small to go with. Then also we just vibe. You know, as celebrities, we never sit down and eat with yeah. each other, just talk. Mm. We know each other by face value. Oh, I know McKenna. Yes, she's fine. I know Bina. He's funny. That's it. We yes. are boys. No, we are not. We, we just are working. Yes. We work in the we same colleagues. industry. Yes. Exactly. Mm. So Kula Kula was CSR for that. Taxi problem is CSR so people can know what can go wrong in a taxi. Yes. The driver side, the passenger side. Mm. So next time you're in a taxi, you know what not to do. Mm. Then I introduce first time. First time is about the first time someone did something. First time I smoked weed. First time I got high. Yeah, Robert first time, exactly. Ooh. First time I was in a strip club, you see. Yes. The one for Pasati. First time he encountered yes. cocaine, mm. pornography, and heroin. That was so creative. By the kudos on that one. That so was So that crazy. one is for the young guys to mm. see the first time other people made mistakes. Yes. So they don't make the same mistakes. Yes. And they see from people that they respect. Mm. Then now, 
I have a new one that is loading. It's called Toxic Boyfriends. Oh, wow. It's about ladies sharing, but also guys can share. But mm. I wanted to focus on ladies, but also I know guys also go through, so mm. they're sharing. So, ladies sharing toxic relationship they've been in. Yes. How it was, what happened, the story. Mm. So that other ladies, like my daughters, mm. my sisters, don't get in similar situationships. Yes. So it's also more of CSR. Mm. Then I have another one called hey. Boys for Boys, mm -hmm. which is big boys just talking to the normal boys to let them know where they are in life is okay. Yes, yes. Because if someone out in Kampo is like, oh, my life is not working, all my life mm, is shit. Mm. Then now you want to kill yourself or you want to get into drugs. Mm. Not knowing Obina was there, Burale was there, whoever was there, yes. Jalango was there, and mm. they suffered yes. and they persevered. That's why they are where they are now. Yeah. Nothing is handed to you. Yes. So Boys for Boys is starting about a couple of weeks' time. Mm. I have so many shows, I don't know which one starts when. But you're so creative, Yeah, though. so... Mm -hmm. This one is starting. So that I'm telling you, mm. I have so many things and I still yeah. have other, there's Ogobina Live that is coming, there's yeah. Kulam Tani that is coming. Oh. I have so much to do that I don't have time to sit down and say, now I want to copy. Yes, yes. I don't even have the, but I have our a ideas are even different. Oga, I have a little question here. Ask away. Do you have a creative director or something? Or am I, are you your own creative director? Or do you have a team director? that helps you? I'm my own creative director. Mm -hmm. But per show, sure, what I'm doing, I always meet with a couple of people. Okay. So like Kula Kula, mm. when it was starting, I met with Butita, I told Butita what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. So we sat down and started changing it pole pole mm. to fit on what I wanted to do. Yes. The only problem is normally when you have a creative director, mm -hmm. they'll move your idea from what it was. Yes. Because now they'll spin it to the way they think it should be. Forgetting you're the one with the idea. Yes. What a creative director is supposed to do, just give it a sense of direction yes. and, and a blueprint sort of, mm. but don't change. I know how I want it to be. Mm. Then as a host and... As the creator of the concept, mm. you go with the flow. I know now I want to change it Kidogo mm. to accommodate this. Because if you look at Kula Kula, the way it started yeah. and the way it's going is very different. Yeah. Because now I meet people that when you wrong a question, mm. you tell them stop eating. Yeah. They can't stop eating. Come on, nani, kuna Jalas mchana. said I'll buy my food. <laughs> KRG the <laughs> same. We were eating at Casavera. He says it's his. Eric, like, ah, I a exam. Eric now does not even <laughs> Eric, know Mumu. Is Eric is now Mumu. <laughs> now you... Now imagine Eric is not eating on Kula Kula. So, all of this, so people are meeting, so you have to adapt. Provided now someone will have the fun, yes. you'll get to know someone, yeah. you'll see how stupid <laughs> some of your superstars yeah, are. Some are dumb. Yeah, then you see how sharp some of yes. them are. Mm. So, like Juakali, Juakali was very. You sharp, see, Vinivaite was very. Hey, Vinikwanza, you yeah. yeah. So, you see these guys, yeah, so mm. that is what has been happening. Mm. So, I do so many, I don't have time to sit and start stealing other people's yes. concepts. Yes. And then also I don't have that energy. Yeah. Then also creative team. I always get a creative team according to what I'm doing yeah. at that time. And Churchill show is coming back. Yes. Are you going to be... And yeah, we have a shoot. It's a 19th. It's a live recording. Okay. Are you going to be part of it? Are you planning of on going back as, as a guest? I might. I might. I might. You know, personally, I didn't come as a Churchill show product. Yes. But I've done guest shows on the platform. It's yes. the biggest stand-up comedy platform in Kenya. Yes. So when you feel as a creative... Like you want to do stand-up comedy, that's the best place to go. Mm. We have the small comedy clubs in Indy, but that's the biggest, you know. So when I feel like I need to go there, I'll be there. Yeah. When I feel like I've missed stand-up on stage, I'll be there. Wow, but Holy Ghost, fire! Yeah. We'll have fun with it. Yeah. But when I'm too busy, sometimes I'm too busy, mm. so you don't see me there. But you might. Yeah. yeah. By any chance, you are Nigeria as in at some point? Because your Nigerian accent, bro, like this. My dad is? Igbo. Luo. Luo. And your mom is? I, Ibo, Ibo. Obina's dad uh -huh. is Luo. Okay. Obina's mom is Ibo. Ibo, yes. Serabo. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. If you don't know, forget about it. Oh, oh, okay. So, yeah. Makina stop being dumb. I'm among the dumb artists that you have in Kenya. So, guys, <laughs> do you have any regrets? Yeah. Biggest regret you have? Not investing wisely when I had money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you still do. God has Makena, blessed you. I had money. <laughs> you did. <laughs> uh -huh. I had money, mm -hmm. and I didn't have responsibilities. So you. I used to live yeah. with seven men in my house. Mm -hmm. Obina, let, let, let me choose violence. Kilo <laughs> Yeah, violence is my middle name. Stay <laughs> Taliban. I <laughs> dug. So, uh, people, when you, I already congratulated you on your job at Keys. Okay. But then again, outside here. People are saying, not me, don't look at me as if I'm the one. Uh, it's not me. Uh -uh. Okay. So people are saying that you are favored, kuja, kwa, kiss, you know. And that is why 
ofone ken people thought ama what people saw ni kama alikuwa anasabotajiwa that's a very strong one though but i'm just i'm just i'm just trying to give my message where that he was being sabotaged by who by kamene jalas how did they sabotage him it's like he make joke they yes. ain't laughing from the youtube videos as in the, as in the, the chemistry was not there between the three of them i don't know why that's so kamene and uh, kamene and jalas he they hit their chemistry with the funny yes and showed it with you so that wow. when the bosses watch it's you they be chosen wow not my words tafadhali <laughs> disclaimer mustaki <laughs> yeah it is true uh-uh. He was sabotaged. Like you love violence. Yeah, yeah it's true. Mm-hmm. What are you going to do about it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. So, what happened was this. What people don't know actually. I don't know if I should be saying this. Mm-hmm. Actually, <laughs> you can filter. So the information reaching me. Mm-hmm. Okay, so even me later I thought I was Kamene's favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Your boy. Until I got yeah. Mm-hmm. So I got information that Kamene recommended of Fueneke. Mm-hmm before every other person. Mm. So when of when it started mm-hmm. is now later I was called the one for also you can also try. When you option. But I was yes exactly. It's actually me my whole life I've been a reject and then people have always underestimated oh, me. Don't be like that. So Kamene mm-hmm. didn't think me and him would have a chemistry on air. Mm-hmm. Actually Kamene doesn't think I'm funny. Kamene prefers to Billy than myself. Kamene thinks to Billy and Rington are funny. The people <laughs> that make Kamene laugh is to Billy and Rington. Mm-hmm. So Kamene also saw Fueneke and was like, "Oh, Fueneke is funny, me, me, me. let's have a vibe." So even when I was coming, Kamene was like, "Ah, me and Obino are just boys, we'll just try, but me I was actually an afterthought. That's what most people don't know." But when I came, like the reject that I am, I did what rejects do. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's the best? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's that's what happened. Actually, I was I I think I was I was not even in the picture. Mm. I so was you are the not afterthought. Favored. The oh, unless part, God, of course. But yeah, the fair part, I don't know. Mm-hmm. But because when Ofonega was doing, I was not even the picture. Yeah. Because even me when I was told, I was like, but I've seen Ofonega doing it. Yeah. So, actually, the one who started. Did you feel quite intimidated? Like, no, uh, okay. intimidated. I'm sorry. But can I look at me? I see you. I see you, big boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, me, I was happy. Uh-huh. I was even the one, oh, yeah, so we try a couple of people, da da da, so we see, and then may the best man win. I'm always the guy for may the best man win. Yeah. You know, it's never about the entertainer. Yes. This is a message to Fueneke, Owago, to Billy. It's never about you as an entertainer, it's normally about the client. Mm. Me, I've gone to some meetings and the class have gone like, no, Obina, Obina is not funny. No, I don't like him, no. Mm. And I've gone to some meetings and like, oh my god, Obina, you, you wait. And I've also said the same about people. The people I'm like, huh? Who? Funny? Mm-hmm. It's the same way that people say about my music. Mm-hmm. Other people are like, Obina, ah, stop singing. Oh, stop singing, stop singing. Oh, to <laughs> forget about you. Oh, I you. Stop you. singing. <laughs> so when they say stop singing, mm-hmm. and then you look around and you see other people who are singing, yeah. then I'm like, someone is singing this nonsense and they have a million views. And if you listen to my song, I have this. And then this guy is like a big musician. Yeah. They even have shows. And this is the nonsense they are singing. I'm like, ah, me, I'm way better because I, I can do nice vocals. I write my own songs and stuff like that. So that's what I'm always saying. It's never about you. It's about the clients or oh. the people. You might not be what they want at that time. You see, I was fired somewhere else yes. because according to them, I was inadequate. Yes. But I've been hired somewhere else with like seven times the salary of before because I'm what they want. Yes. So it's never about you as a creative. Never feel bad about you when someone stops you or rejects you. It's always about them. Okay, you know, creatives, when you have one negative uh, feedback, it hurts you more than all the positive praises you get. You'll get a million. You are fire! Makena will have your channel! One person comes and say, Huh? Makena? What are you doing? Okay. When you're trying to be Eve Mungai, boom! Mm. That thing will eat you up. You'll be like, Oh, now my God. That's what happens. That. Yeah. So probably they are there. Or, but what I'm telling you guys, you guys are fighters. You guys are fire. I know you guys. You guys are funny. But it depends. Come and tell me every day I'm not funny. Baby boo, I ain't going nowhere. Sis in your tuko. Tumbili, abaki changombe radio. I and the two are fire too. Speaking of fire. Do you want to touch them? Where, where? Where, where? Where, where? Una shika watoto. Why are you touching the children? Oh, now this is me. Okay. Okay, this one. Actually, this is an exclusive. So this one I did it a while ago. It's a story of my life. Okay. 
So down here, there are tears and blood. Eh? Mm -hmm. You can see tears, drops, and blood. Yeah. The hustle and the struggle. Yes. So after this, I became MGZ. MGZ, this mm -hmm. is MGZ oh, the AY. Artist. The artist, dance or artist. Shake them, shake them. That's MGZ. Yes, you done know. So I was doing MGZ. And while I'm doing this, I was fire. I was, I was, I had so much fire in me. So it was burning. Mm -hmm. So when this happened, I had a transition. And this transition moved me to Obina. So you see this Obina here. Then now Obina is going where? For the crown. Yes. I'm the king of my kingdom. So it's a story. So you might not understand it, but it's been here for a while. Yeah, I have understood actually. Yeah. yeah. So that's the whole thing basically. And these are the babies now. Yes, and then now I have another one here. Uh huh. Let me show you. Let us. Oh my God, you guys, exclusively yeah. on Glopis so, Machina. Uh huh. This one here. Can you read it? Yeah. Live life. Uh huh. Be kind. Be kind. And be. Look good. And, and be, be free. Free. Look good. Yes. Feel good. Feel good. At. Hmm? At taste. What's this? And, and taste even better. Better. Or oh guard the top. Or oh guard the top. Ooh. Yes, sir. And then I have another one. Let you us see it. <laughs> <laughs> you know we do the ah, unthinkable on top with McKenna. Ah, what? McKenna, you you are crazy. Me, I don't like girls like McKenna. What's small girls like this. Ah, fire. Ah, ah. Me, I love big girls. Ah, small girls. My first baby is like a size. Where? What have you done? Mukamba. Ah, ah. ah. I'm not Kamba than Meru. I know, but Meru and Kamba is more the same thing. Meru is just Kamba on a budget. Same thing. Uh, what? Oh, sorry. Where well, I forgot to name. Sorry, I'm a comedian, McKenna Usa. Breathe, breathe. Her eyes are vibrating. I'm like, bro, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, i when I have money, I spend it on a lot of useless things and people. Could have, could have bought the whole of Siokimau. That time Siokimau land was very cheap, yeah? And I'd never gone those sides. And I said, me? Sioka what? <laughs> and say it's the cream de la cream. I'm always looking at this and like, Obina, you are an idiot. I always just say that if I knew what I know now then, yeah. I would make a lot of decisions differently. Yeah. You see, that's why I always tell a lot of young people, don't get any baby before you're 27. I tell young girls, stop moving in with a man before you're 27. Don't get pregnant for him. I know you love him, yes. Love him from over there. Go see him. We can't come back, Nini. Figure out your life. Boy, child, stop taking baggages early. I tell you, oh, you know me, I love. I want to move in together, bro. That's the wrong move you'll make. Mm -hmm. You're thinking she's the best because she's what you're exposed to. Leave J Quat, leave KU, leave uh, Mombasa Technical or wherever you are. Or Jaramongi or Ginko Dinga. Go work in Dubai. Habibi, come wow. see life in Dubai. Go to Morocco, go to Mauritius. Travel. After you travel, then now decide you're settling down when you've seen. You know, if you've never been on a, on an airplane, you don't know there are people called air hostess. Yeah. Those ladies are fine. Yeah. And they are intelligent. And they are paid well. And they are mature. Mm. Imagine if you marry such. Yes. But you don't know yeah. if you're always on a matatu and anduvi. So you meet someone in Matatu, you're like, oh my God, that's the best person. No, you you, are, you don't have information. Yeah. So slow down, learn, experience, mm. then commit. Yeah. Stop committing early because now that's when you have broken marriages. Mm. We have children being raised by deadbeat fathers, deadbeat mothers, uh, children who are messed up mentally because their people are not there because the young ones did not know any better. Yeah. I used to live with seven men in my house. I was paying their bills, doing everything for mm. them. For a period of time, a couple of years, all that money I could have invested in a couple of things. I had the same car for five years. My first car, the one I bought in Mombasa, yeah. for five years. How do I have a car for five years? Am I mad? But I didn't know any better. I was yeah. like, oh, I'm driving. And like, oh, you're driving. And hey, in, the in my own crew, I'm the one driving, you know. So let's stop celebrating mediocrity. I was being celebrated when I was mediocre. So the second and it got to my automatic. head. Yes, change your friends. When you change your friends, your objectives will change. You'll have a bigger vision and you'll become a better person. Yeah. So those regrets, I have them so much. I always sit down and I'm like, man. I wish. So I try to talk to the young ones. Mm -hmm. But the young ones also, bangi, bombe. Uh -huh. Oh, why are you telling us? Uh -huh. See, you have four children. Yes, that's what I'm telling you. Don't have children yeah. before you are 30. Because I'm 31, I have four children. If I didn't have these four children, I would not be sitting here, McKenna. Yeah. Right now, you'll be interviewing me in Zanzibar. 
You see, so don't do the same mistakes I did. The only thing is that now me, I'm in my kids' lives. Now imagine you, you might not be there because probably either you don't have the manpower to be there or you just don't want to be there. So don't make the mistakes. Yeah. Learn, adapt, move. When you are 30, 31, or let's say 27 at least. At 27, ladies are mature, men are also grown up. But now decide. Yeah. You want to have children. But the good thing is, as much as you made your mistakes, you corrected them. But you know, as in, you can't outlive them, but you... You can't correct, you accept them. You accept, but you did the right thing. I learned from them, yes. yes. I've learned from all the mistakes I've done. What assumptions do people have about Obina? Assumptions? Wrong as of what do people perceive that you are and you're not? I don't know. And I also don't really care. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't care what you assume about me. Yeah. Why Why would I care? Yeah. Good stuff. Well in. Bravo. All right. Yeah, what you assume is up to you. Mm. Get to know me. Ask. Don't even ask. Get to know me. Yeah. Then I will change your perception. Mm. I can't tell you, oh, you know people think they're about mm. me. I'm not going to be here to stay and make yourself feel good about no. Yeah. Whatever you assume or believe, yeah. adios. And how do you feel about being compared to mostly Dr. Fennecke? Because Kunata ni ni mekretiwa, Chris Kira, you, Dr. Fennecke, and I think Shafiwelo. Same thing. Na perception. Same thing. Mm. Perception, perception, perception. Mm. I don't have a problem being compared by Dr. Fennecke. Okay. People call me Dr. Fennecke all the time. Mm. Because they are fans and the people assume because she speaks Nigerian, we are family and we are brothers. Yeah. Which is okay. It means they are paying attention. Dr. Fennecke is a master at his craft. Yes. He does a good job, he's a fire MC, fire wedding MC, nini nini, good creative, you know, he's a good father as well, which also I, I'd recommend. So I don't really have a problem. How people perceive you is up to them. Whoever you put me up against, it's yeah. up to you. Yeah. I can't tell you, no, don't put me against you. No. Okay, put me against who? <laughs> All right, so, 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 I think the next we should have bigger batch of this on to make sure you don't go your time. Ah, Kisha, we've been here for two hours. No, that's not so easy. Wow. For the vibe, they need to make vibe that Johnny can. You will do everything you want for ladies that will never get satisfied. Oh. See, that was little. One but, hour, thirty no, minutes. Listen, I love uh, Nigerian food, especially pondedium and egusi soup. <laughs> so, can we have an episode of me and you eating Nigerian food? Is that possible? Okay. Thank you, my darling. <laughs> so, guys, it will never happen, no. <laughs> no. We will do it. Wow. Don't mind them. Don't mind them. <laughs> we will do it. So, give us a parting shot as we close up. <laughs> Check out my YouTube, Obina TV. I have so much for you guys. Go over there, subscribe, and have a good time. Be positive. If you have something you want to do, make a strategy and start doing it. Hope is not a strategy. Stop hoping things will work out. Change. If you're in a bad relationship, leave whether it is working or it is family move we came to this world alone you will live alone and if you bring someone in this world they're your responsibility take care of your shit. so guys <laughs> i had locks mckenna i know you did do your homework no i know you, you will not be calling me to interview you said no not i know you did you cannot be doing I have some good blood in me. Let him 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 have some you just make promises that can't be. Okay. Next episode, we are, we are eating. <laughs> 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 you guys subscribe to his channel. He's, he has dope, dope content for you guys. Now, have copy content. This guy is such a creative. He's so funny. Me, my by the episode, I didn't get Thank you so much to my videographers, Manu and Aviko, the Risk Entertainment Gang. Tell them to work with cards with space. Yeah, walk with cards. Stay Taliban. Like, you know, I'm excited to Nikali. I fire. I've never seen something like this. Dunk. Guys, by the way, these are microphones. You'll be wondering, hey, Obina is now Bluetooth. Like, Obina Maringo. Marie. He's putting a Bluetooth speaker. It's, it's a, a microphone. microphone. It's for her. For glow up with yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's how we roll you guys. Thank you so much, Baby Gardens, Gardens, for hosting us today. And if you have a location on the resource and you guys just let me know. Because conversation does not end here, just hit me up on my socials. Cash Gracie, tell me when you want to next. What you really wanted to know next or more about Ogobina and Jemuliza, he'll reply to you guys through me on his socials and on my socials as well. So, so.
This is Blue Up with Makena. Subscribe if you haven't. Share, like, comment. Uh, until next time, Obina will be subscribe to Blue Up with Makena. You better. You better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, network problems. <laughs> <laughs> Before you know me, I was already. You see, but, but you see, I'm working. You see where I am. I know you're working. So let me somewhere else. Uh -huh. Subscribe to this channel. You love the celebrity she's bringing. This madam is deep state. A lot of big people in these tables. I'm the only one who is like low tier on this place. All the others are just big, big, big people. Subscribe. It's a button here. Click it. Okay, what are you going to lose? And you're already watching. And it's not, it's for free. There it's you for go. Free. Yeah, they don't charge you. We don't charge you, guys. Yeah, terms and conditions apply. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, Gobina, for, for turning up. And Gracias. thank you so much. My guys, family, you guys, I'm here because of you. Subscribe, share, like, comment. I'm your girl, Makena. Catch Grace Instagram. God bless. We out. Ciao.